Hey, I'm Coach Kozak from Hansfit, and this is my total body static stretching routine. This routine is perfect to do either right after your workout or any other time of the day other than right before your workout. Before your workout, I recommend you do our dynamic warm-up routine. Now, I'm going to hold every position one time for 15 to 30 seconds. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with our quads. We're gonna do a one leg quad stretch. We're gonna hold your back foot for 15 seconds. I'm gonna balance you by myself, but if you need something to hold on to, feel free. Go ahead and keep your opposite knee bent while you're stretching, pulling your foot, uh, foot back to your butt, and switch. Okay, now we're gonna do the opposite side. Again, we're just doing each one of these stretches one time, pulling back as far as you can, and again, I'm pretty decent balance, so I don't need anything to hold on to, but if you do, feel free to hold on to a chair or something in front of you. Good, just a few more seconds. Hold and switch. Next, we're gonna do a calf stretch. We're gonna put one leg in back, split stance, hands on your hips. We're gonna stretch your back calf and flatten that foot out. So on this back leg, you should feel a nice stretch in that calf. And hold, make sure we're breathing. And just a few more seconds. And switch, good, okay. Next, we're gonna do the other side. Stretching that heel to the floor. Feel that stretch in your back of your leg and in your calf. Good, just a few more moments. Three, two, one and switch. Next, we're going to do what's called the chest opener and stretch through your chest muscles. We're going to interlock your fingers behind your back and we're going to open your chest up. So we're stretching, pulling back, opening your chest up and hold. Feel that stretch in your chest muscles. Holding this one for 15 seconds. Make sure we're breathing. Now, with all of these stretches, Make sure you uh, stretch to a point where it still feels good. Stretching should never hurt. Just a couple more seconds. And break. Okay, shake it out. Next, we're gonna do our biceps. You're gonna put your arms out at your side, starting with your thumbs up. Straightening out your arms. We're gonna pull your thumbs back. And turn them over, point your thumbs down. Slowly making this move, whole time, extending your arms straight. Thumbs back, feel that stretch in your biceps, and hold. And thumbs down, and hold. All right, excellent, shaking them out. Next, we're gonna do what's called a waterfall. This is a stretch for your wrists and your forearm flexors. Elbows in. Grab it on your fingertips, and slowly, we're gonna pull your fingers down, stretching your wrist back. Again, this should feel good. It shouldn't pull to the point where it hurts. And we're pulling back in on those fingers, feeling that stretch in both your wrists and in your forearms. A little bit in your biceps, too. Keep that elbow close to you. And switch. Good, okay. Switching sides. Elbows in and pull down. Good. And with a lot of these, you see I'm pretty flexible, so don't feel like you have to get to the, uh, the full range of motion that I'm at with all of these. You get to where it feels comfortable. Good. Just a few more moments. And let go. Okay, next we're going to do your triceps, which is the muscle in the back of your arm. You're going to put your hand on your trap, your back muscle here, elbow straight up in the air. With your opposite arm, you're going to grab your elbow and pull down and back at the same time. So pulling this way. And we're going to hold. Breathe. Very good. Feeling that stretch in the back of your arm on this one? Apparently my triceps are pretty tight. I'm feeling this one. All right, shake it out. 
Switch it up. Good. And pull back on that elbow. We're gonna hit every major muscle group. Now five more seconds. Three, two, one, and let go. All right, good. Next, we're gonna do uh, two different stretches through your shoulders. The first one, you're gonna put your hand at the small of your back, right here, elbows bent. We're gonna put your opposite hand, grab your elbow, and gently pull forward and hold. Again, don't pull so far that it hurts, just enough where you feel a stretch. Very good. Make sure we're breathing. This is a great one for your rotator cuffs as well. All right, stretch it out. Next one. Hand that's small on your back, going forward on that elbow. And a few more seconds. Very good. Okay, now the second shoulder stretch, we're gonna do both arms at the same time. I want you to put your elbows up. We want a 90 degree angle at both the elbow and under the armpit. And we're gonna stretch your hands back as your elbows come forward. And we're gonna hold. Holding right here. And breathe. Doing great. And when we're static stretching, you should never bounce. Just one gentle, Stretch and hold. Very important to breathe as well while we're doing this. Get the oxygen to the muscles. And relax, shake it out. Okay, good. Next one, we're gonna do your upper back muscles. Now, the best way to get into this position is basically to do like a swimming butterfly maneuver. So we're gonna Bring our hands back and over like we're doing a, a butterfly stroke. And we're gonna reach, pushing our butt back at the same time. Big reach with your hands and feel that stretch in your upper back. And just reach as far as you can while sitting back. Try and keep your arms parallel to the floor. Good, keep reaching, keep reaching. Big reach, big reach, feel pull. And relax. All right, excellent. Next, we're gonna do a, a, a stretch of, uh, works your, or stretches your side, both your lats, back muscle, and your obliques. We're gonna reach over, do a side stretch, feeling a stretch all along this side. And again, we're just holding to a point where it feels comfortable. Five more seconds. And break. Good, okay, switching sides. Always make sure you do both sides of the stretch, don't want any imbalances. Very good. You can repeat this workout, uh, this stretching workout routine after any of our workouts. Very good, and let go. Okay, the last one we're gonna do on our feet is gonna stretch and not only your quads, but also your sos major and your hip flexors. We're gonna get into a split stance, dropping that back knee. And we're gonna reach in the opposite direction. And feel a stretch all along here. And reach and look in the opposite direction. Now again, I'm pretty flexible, so you see me down low. You might just be right here. And that's okay, everybody's different. Just a few more seconds. And break. Okay, we're switching. I'm gonna give you a side view on this one. Dropping that back knee. Reaching in the opposite direction. Hold. Just a few more moments. And break. Okay, good. Now we're moving to the floor. Okay, next round, we're on the ground. We're gonna lie on your backs, hands at your side, feet are firmly landed into the ground. 
This first one, we're going to do a hips into the ground. So there's not a lot of range of motion on this one, but it's a great stretch for your, your spine and your lower back. We're going to press your hips and your butt into the ground and hold. So you're pressing your hips and your butt as hard as you can into the ground for 15 seconds and just hold and breathe. Just a few more moments. I know this one's kind of funny, but trust me, it's a great stretch. And great. Okay, relax. Good. Next one, we're going to do a hip up. So we're going to press off your heels. We're going to pull up, squeezing your butt up at the top, and hold right here up at the top for 15 seconds. Again, just like some of the other ones, you might not be able to quite get all the way up. That's okay if you're this is as high as you can get. That's just fine. But we're holding. Breathe. Keep squeezing your butt and muscles. And great. Okay, excellent. Next, we're going to put your arms out on your side. Bring your knees up at a 90 degree angle. Now we're going to go twist side to side and we're going to hold. If this is all the range of motion you have, that's okay. If you can go all the way to the floor, that's okay. That's great. But we're going to keep your shoulder blades flat on the ground. And we're going to stretch and hold. So you can go almost all, almost all the way to the ground, but don't just relax if you can get that far. And we're just going to hold, breathe, feeling that stretch in your lower back and in your sides. Good. Back to the center. Now to the other side. And again, only go as far as it feels comfortable. Don't force yourself to go all the way to the ground if you can't get there. And just hold and breathe. Excellent. And relax. All right. Next one, we're going to do a figure four stretch. We're going to put one leg or one ankle up on your opposite knee. We're going to reach through on one side, grab your knee on the outside on the other. And we're going to pull this knee to your chest and you're going to feel a stretch on the opposite hip. And hold. Excellent. And feel that stretch in the hip. And relax. Shake it out. Okay, opposite side now. Putting the knee up, reaching through, reaching around, grabbing on hold of that knee, and pulling toward your chest. Work. Holding just a few more moments. And relax. Very good. All right, let's sit up. Put your legs out in front of us. We're going to do three different versions of this next reach stretch. Each one has a different emphasis on which muscle we're actually going to stretch. We're going to start with a hamstring emphasis. Now, we're going to reach towards your toes. I want you to keep your toes straight. Don't pull back on your toes. And I want you to keep your head up. And you're going to reach as far as you can. If you can reach all the way to your toes, great, but don't pull back on them. And I want you to keep your head up. This variation is going to really stretch your hamstrings, the back of your leg. And we're holding. Make sure you're not holding your breath, though. And relax. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to do it with a calf stretch emphasis. Similar stretch, but this time we get to pull back on the toes. So if you can't quite reach your toes, then we're still reaching with our head up and we're just push pulling back on our toes. Now, if you can reach them, great. Go ahead, grab onto them and pull them back. Again, keeping your head up. Hold, breathe, get plenty of oxygen. And relax. Okay, last one in this sequence. This last one is going to be a, a emphasis on your lower back. We're going to reach again, but now we're going to put our head down, putting our chin into our chest. You're going to feel a stretch all down your spine on this one. So reaching again, 
Head down. Really put that chin into your chest and hold. Just a few more moments. And relax. Good, big deep breath. Okay. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do a butterfly stretch. Now a lot of people on this one will do it incorrect and we'll do a bounce. We don't need to do a bounce. Again, we're just gonna get to a comfortable spot and we're gonna hold. Now, I'm gonna take my elbows on the inside of my, my shins and my calves and I'm gonna press down just for a little extra stretch and hold. Breathe, again, no bouncing though. Feeling a nice stretch in your inner thighs and in your groin. Doing great, keep it up. Just a few more moments. And break. All right, great job. All right, great work everybody. You can go ahead and repeat this static stretching routine after every one of our workouts and any other time of the day that you have 15 minutes to devote towards your flexibility. Keep doing this workout two to five times a week to increase that flexibility of yours. Now, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can help keep this great service free. Like us on Facebook for the best daily motivation. I'm Coach Kozak and I'll see you at your next workout.